He moved here with his wife and two small children on Christmas Eve, 1881, and lived here 100 days. The house was located then at 1318 Lafayette Street on the hill about a block north of here. On April 3rd, Jesse was in this room with two gang members, Bob and Charles Ford, making plans to rob the Flat City Bank the next day. Jesse noticed the needle point on the wall was crooked. Because it was a warm morning and the door was open, he took off his gun so neighbors wouldn't see them. Then he climbed on a chair to straighten the picture. It was the chance that Ford had been waiting to collect a $10,000 reward offered by Governor Tom Crittenden. Jesse fell to the floor dead. Only Bob fired. The bullet entered behind his right ear, and some believe it came out over the left eye, leaving the legendary bullet hole. Researchers now think the bullet did not leave Jesse's head. The force sent a telegram to the governor and then surrendered to City Marshal Enos Craig. But instead of collecting a reward, the Fords were charged with murder and were sentenced to hang. Within hours, the governor pardoned them. But on the needle point of the bullet hole, over the years, people chipped away pieces of the bullet hole. The framed gun is a 44 caliber Smith & Wesson, similar to the gun used to kill Jesse. The famous outlaw was responsible for the deaths of at least 16 people, but sympathy did not rest with the Fords for killing him with his back turned. Within two years, Charles Ford committed suicide, and 11 years later, Bob Ford was gunned down in Creek, Colorado by Ed O'Kelly. The James family rented this house from a city councilman for $14 a month and had no time for elaborate escape routes. There was a trap door into the half basement and in the bedrooms, away into the attic and out onto the back porch roof. Note the unusual love seat by the door. Gentlemen used the backrest, and ladies romancing had no place to lean but into their lover's arms. In the next room, you'll learn about the 1995 exhumation of Jesse James at Kearney, Missouri. You may also view the artifacts found in the grave. DNA test by Professor Jane Stars confirmed that it was indeed Jesse James and not an imposter who was killed here 